What's up guys, this is Fahad in Japan, in Europe. I'm actually in Europe right now, I'm in London. I'm here on a Europe trip for about 10 days. So I'm gonna go from London to Amsterdam to Belgium. It's actually day two right now, I was being a lazy asshole and I didn't record anything yesterday or the day before. Right now we're actually waiting in the line to take a picture. Platform nine and three quarters. The line is huge, man. There's a bunch of people around here. But yeah, it should be pretty dope. Kick game, check it out. Got us some OG white NNDs for you sneakerheads out there. Mmm, looking fresh. He has brought five pairs of shoes on this trip, man. But yeah, all right, I'll, I'll start recording again once I get to the uh, the cot. And I am ripping off. All right, guys, what's up? So after waiting for about an hour and 15 minutes or so, it's finally ready for our photos. Here we go. So if you want to just grab anything, All right, guys, photo has been taken. I'm not sure how well y'all can hear me, but I'm in the shop now. Check it out. Hello. Mike, thank you so much. No problem, Mike. Mike, the lifesaver. Bro. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so if y'all don't know, I'm actually sorted into Ravenclaw. So here's my gear. I already have this scarf right here. I have this scarf. It's pretty nice. What should I get? Oh, I already also have one of these patches. I forgot about that. A mountain of dobbies. You have this too, right? The I don't have any gloves. I have a patch though. Oh, I forgot the new uh, screenplay book came out, right? Okay. The Cursed Child. You have 20 pounds up in here. Yeah, I might just pick one up. And that's the platform nine and three quarter shot, man. Crazy crowded. I'm about to buy to pick up a couple things and get out of here. All right, guys. So I just showed you guys I was about to get the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book. I was in line waiting to pick one up, and then Mike actually just bought me one. Yo, this guy right here. Man, man. Hello. He's actually picked this up for me. I didn't even know. He was right in front of me and he was like, I was like, yo, we're getting the same thing. And then he, I go up to the register and he's like, no, nah, this is for you. Give it to me, man. It's gonna be so sick. Really appreciate that. Yo, this is so sick because I got it from the actual shop in London, so I feel extra happy today. Plus, it's for my bro. Yo, it's a good day. Alright, guys, so we are out of uh, King's Cross Station now. That's where it is. And now, dudes, we are headed to a very special place in my heart. It is called Five Guys. Most of you guys probably know, but I live in Japan and they don't have that, so I gotta get me some. It's just lunch, don't worry. So I'm gonna give me some Five Guys. Here we go. All right, guys, it's mad loud, but we are in Five Guys right now to get the full American experience. Mike over here trying to figure out what he wants to get. Mai also trying to figure out what she wants. I already know what I'm gonna get. All right, guys, food has been ordered. 29 pounds. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts. Boom. The freestyle fountain, baby. All kinds of crazy shit up in her. Let's see what they got. I'm feeling a little bit of ice. And I'm going to go with the zero cow, because we don't need the extra cows. Mm. we going with the hell's still. Oh my god, they gotta get options in here. I'm going fruit punch. Oops. Alright guys, so we finally got our food. Here's the grub right here. Burger, burger, burger. Big old thing of Cajun fries. Big old thing of Cajun fries. Shit. Let's see what I got here. Damn, look at that. Got the little cheeseburger, cheese, hot sauce, lettuce, pickles. Mike went double. Mike also got the little hamburger. We about to go in. What are you thinking, bro? What do you think? Or has she already? 
we about to go in on this shit. All right, guys, now that we've devoured our five guys, we actually came to the British Library. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but I'm a huge, huge Beatles fan. And apparently they have some memorabilia here that's like signed by the Beatles or little uh, pieces of paper that they wrote original lyrics on and stuff. So I'm really excited to see that. It's Mike's idea. So we're about to check that out, man. All right, guys, so we just finished up. Um, we're actually heading out. Unfortunately, there was no recording in the... Uh, the area man so I couldn't get you guys some footage but dude I thought it was just gonna be like a small little thing but they had original works from like Shakespeare from Mozart from like these little letters that John Lennon and Paul McCartney wrote on dude it was so freaking sick I definitely recommend coming through to the British Library if you guys ever have a chance to be in London man. Alright we're actually gonna head to Abbey Road Studios now we're gonna head to Abbey Road Studios now so Mike's chilling over there I'm about to head out and then later on we're gonna meet some friends for dinner all right, guys, we're actually headed to Abbey Road Studios right now, but before we go, check out this view, man. God, London has like the sickest architecture, man. This is the uh, British Library right here. Man, it's really, really sick. So now we're gonna head to Abbey Road Studios by train, and I'm so pumped, and we out. All right, guys, we're at the train station now, headed to Abbey Road. We're gonna take something called the Overground, which is like a new train system. Here we are inside. What do you think, Mike Will? It's a lot better than the other stations. Better than the other stations, yeah. according to Mike Welsh. This train is American much Motorola. bigger, dude. I know. Right? Show. Alright guys, so we're actually walking down to Abbey Road Studios right now in this really, really beautiful neighborhood, man. Like, so far in London, I've seen a lot of like close proximity, crazy flats and you know, rich neighborhoods, average neighborhoods, poor neighborhoods or whatever. But this is one of these ultra classy, like, residential areas, man. Like, this is that yeah, old money. I mean, look, you got a little charging station. And that dude's just charging his car. What up? Here we are, baby. Abbey Road. Heading down the block. And that traffic up here. But I bet you anything is going to be so crowded at that crosswalk area. Right, Mike? Probably. I'm so excited, dude. I'm getting a Beatles boner. I'm getting so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. Damn, dude. As a huge Beatles fan, this is freaking crazy. Crosswalk area up here. I'm about to make one of my lifelong dreams come true, people. Alright guys, as you saw, I actually got to finally cross this crosswalk. You don't even, like people can't understand how, how crazy it is. But check this out, how people be crossing, like traffic gets held up. I feel kind of bad, like for the people that live around here. It's got to be really annoying. I mean, I flew from Japan to come here and this was literally the main thing I wanted to do. So I'm extremely happy. I'm really, really freaking happy. Just check this out. I'm going to show you guys some footage of how it works. So people are like standing here and they're just waiting for traffic to slow down and then they'll cross. So it checks out. <laughs> so they're like, nah, 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 nah. And so that's the kind of stuff that happens. It's nuts, man. And so like sometimes like I got lucky enough to have Mike here. He went out on that part of the street and took a shot of me. And so people will do that. But most people like to wait for like traffic to not come. Some people will stop freaking traffic to out. These dudes are cool. Oh, they want to cross on this side. But yeah, it's nuts, man. Anyways, I'm like, my heart is racing. I'm so psyched right now. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna head to the Abbey Road shop, the souvenir shop, and then we gotta head out to meet some friends. But uh, yeah. There's another quick shot of Abbey Road Studios. This is so freaking sick. Well, the wall is like completely tagged with a lot of stuff. And it's really, I think it's really cool how they keep it here. Like they don't just wipe it all off. Now we're gonna head to the shop and see if there's anything I'd want to pick up. And then we're gonna head to meet our friends. All right guys, here we go. Four lads from Liverpool audition at the studios. Here are three lads from America and Japan going in. All right, guys, so we just got done, bought a few things from the shop. Um, I basically got a, a, a print of the 
the Abbey Road album cover and then I'm gonna put it side by side with my crosswalk with frames so hopefully it turns out cool I don't know but yeah now we're gonna catch a bus I think so yep. we're gonna catch a bus head to meet Mai's friends have some dinner after that we're gonna meet up with my, uh, Mike and his wife Amanda again we're gonna chill so I'll see y'all then Hello guys, my name is Nara Deer and I'm an alcoholic. Damn, stone cold. <laughs>